Kevin Costner speaks out on ex Christine Baumgartner's divorce, worst tactics, amid bitter court battle. Kevin Costner isn't hesitating to share his dissatisfaction with the way the judicial process for his divorce from his estranged wife Christine Baumgartner has gone. After 18 years of marriage, the Yellowstone actor's wife filed for divorce in May, sparking a contentious court battle. The ex-couple has fought over a variety of prenuptial agreement-related problems, including child support and their real estate holdings. The bitterness between the two has now been made clearer in fresh court records that were first accessed. The father of seven alleged in the documents that his soon-to-be ex-wife was using delaying strategies to prolong their divorce processes, which had been running for more than three months. Christine is allegedly asserting that she did not fully comprehend their prenup when she signed it prior to their 2003 wedding, and Kevin's legal team has responded by calling it the worst kind of gamesmanship. One of their prenuptial agreement's more contentious clauses stated that if Christine filed for divorce, she would have 30 days to leave their joint residence, which, before their separation, was a 1.4-acre cliffside mansion in Santa Barbara. In response, Christine said that she wouldn't leave the house unless Kevin agreed to provide her the $248,000 in child support she was asking for for their three children, Caden, Hayes, and Grace. Kevin expressed his disapproval of the proposal as well, calling it greatly exaggerated and unsupported, and asserting that Christine assigns 60% of expenses, such as private training, unauthorized credit card charges, and her plastic surgery, to the minor children without justification or justification. Only Christine uses the services of private trainers. The other kids do not. It is not necessary to provide the minor children ridiculous extravagance that is largely intended to benefit the supporting parent in order to provide them with more than the absolute essentials," he continued. The first prenuptial agreement called for Kevin to provide $38,000 per month in child support, but, after Kevin countered Christine's $248,000 request with $123,620, the court directed Kevin to provide $129,000 per month. Although the divorce between Kevin and Christine still doesn't seem to be finalized, a judge ordered Christine to vacate the property by July 31st. Kevin argued for August 31st and Christine for July 13th. Moving trucks were seen at both the Santa Barbara home and later at another one of Kevin's homes nearby before the deadline.